That's a bit boring. That's a lot better, but a bit jank. That's not really a step up. That's definitely a step back. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. And yep, that seems good enough. I am the Axial Engine Supremacist, and this is my engine. Not only is it way cooler than any other type of engine, remaking it without mods also made me discover a really interesting way to make it reversible. The engine is always trying to run, but since the crank is not crunk, it doesn't produce any power. By cranking the crank, the pistons start a cranking, so it follows that cranking the crank the opposite way will also make the pistons crank the opposite way. This mess of gears in the back is a differential, just mounted perpendicular to the wheel axle. Also I have piston steering. That's the overview, let's take it to the track. I sped up the footage so it doesn't take that long. The first obstacle is a bunch of horrible lumber piles. They're really clingy. Also, they bounce if you drop them on the red floor below. Next up is the non-slip shower mat. Getting over it is no problem, but if I had passengers, they'd be complaining. This part is really steep. It looks like I'm done for because one of my wheels is slipping, but I can actually lock my differential. After that, I can just about power through. The next obstacle is speed bumps. They can't hurt me, because I'm already going very slow. Now, the most dangerous obstacle of all. A mild incline. I still haven't found any other Besiege Axel engines on YouTube, so I'm thinking I might have a shot at the most unique vehicle category. That is, unless I get disqualified for my use of hinges, or for building my channel on dissing the man who runs the competition. After dodging a couple of great walls, I hit my bum on a ledge, and then it's on to the final stretch. I won. Play my custom level, Captain.